CM365 all about Carnatic music creation and recreation is something very unique to music now if you look at it from the Carnatic perspective we see that a vagekara creates a composition and then after that it is recreated by the others who perform it in film music, this process of recreation is something different in the sense that we have a music composer who creates the composition and then it is sung by a musician. It may be a singer like say Hari Haran or Uni Krishna or anybody for that matter. Now, when somebody else wants to recreate this composition, it is very, very essential that he produces the music or the song verbatim as the original singer has done it. So here the process of recreation demands that you are able to sing it exactly the way the original version is. But when we talk about Carnatic music, it's a different concept here where we have the composition, as I said earlier, uh, as composed by the Vagekara, then we learn it through a notation or through a guru. Now when the performer, that is another musician, tries to present the same composition we do not expect him to perform it verbatim the way he learned from the Guru in the sense that we look forward to how that particular musician recreates the composition. Here recreate does not mean that he changes the whole structure and uh, puts a different notation and tries to sing it. That's not what I'm trying to say here. Here what it means is that through his own understanding of the Raga, through his years of experience, through his understanding of the nuances and intricacies of the Ragam, he tries to interpret the composition in his own way through his own thought process. And that is what also lends a special sheen to the composition. We all have heard the compositions like Chakkani Raja, Eta Unara, umpteen number of times. But yet we go back to concerts to listen to the same composition, not to see whether the performer is doing it verbatim the way he learned but to see how he interprets the composition and how he recreates the composition in a beautiful way. Now we also see that in this process of recreation some musicians have left their indelible mark on certain compositions. For example if we say Rangapura Vihara immediately we think of uh, none other than the Doyen MS Subalakshmi Amma. If you say Vargalamo, we immediately think of Sri K. Vinara and Swami or Pakkala Neela Badi, we think of Sri Shamagudi Srinivasa Air. Not because of the fact that others have not sung this composition, but because of the way, the beautiful way in which these musicians have recreated the compositions and lent a lasting impression on it. CM 365, all about Carnatic music.